Hi guys, I'm going to do a very quick video, I hope, and this video is going to be all about some new stuff that I'm using and how I feel about it and also some old stuff that I've been using and how has it been working out after using it for a while. So I always like to hear, you know, I, I mean I don't mind watching hauls at all because I like to know what people are buying but I also like to hear how they like those products after they have bought them and sometimes, you know, there is, I watch hauls and then I never never ever find out how they actually felt about the product after they've used it a while and so I really like that so I don't have a whole lot because I don't do a whole lot of hauls but I'm going to start with the biggest item first uh, for me that I bought and the biggest item for me that I bought was this Viseart palette now I bought this this is Viseart Liaison I really love, love the colors. I'm gonna put the uh, box over the mirror so I don't blind you. But I really love these colors. These colors are me. They scream me. And this palette would be absolutely perfect for me with the exception of one item that I wish it had. And that is it doesn't have an all over a bone color. So I use the Wet n Wild Cream Brulee and that's what I have on today, the Wet n Wild Cream Brulee all over my, my lid, all the way up to my brow. That is what I use as a base. I don't use a eyelid primer or anything like that. And then I started this using the top row and I'm going to try to because I have it labeled here and that's another thing. I really, really wish that they would label it on here instead of on the little plastic covering. I used in the middle color blushing. I used that in the crease and then I used the lighter color over here for my movable lid and that's Embrace. And then I think this darker color here is Fusion. That's what I did to deepen my crease and also the outer V. When I was really ready to darken the outer V, I used this color here called Falling. It's just a little bit of a darker purple. You can barely even see it on my lid. And then for the glitter, I went in and I used, is this Bissis? Bissis? I'm sure it's a French name. I can't rem I don't know how to pronounce it. But I used every color in here except these two and these two here. The two, the two down uh, below and the two in the middle. So I used four or five colors in this palette today and I've used it a couple of days this week. I really like it. I like how it works but I bought this on Sephora during the 20% off sale along with a few other items but this was the biggest aside from the uh, CBD oil that I bought the Flora and Bast at the 20% off. This was the biggest item that I bought. I really, really, really like this palette a lot. It is perfect for me with that one exception. So I love it. The other thing that I have, I bought, and I know that I've talked to you guys. I showed this anyways, and I had a few of you ask me, how do I like the corrective palette that I bought, the concealer palette? It's called e.l.f. Corrective Concealer. It's got the three colors. How do I like this? This, this for me, and the ones I've used, I've used the pink quite a bit. I put a big dent on it and I've used the green. The green neutralizes the red. The pink does a little bit more brightening. I really, really like it. So for me, this works perfect because I have all of them in one little tiny compact. So when I think about traveling or something like that, I think this is like awesome. It, however, and I discovered it when I first dipped my finger in and I put it on, it comes on really thick. So you have to just use a light touch to take your product out. There's a brush that comes with it, which I have not used. I just dip my finger in and I put it on that way. So I really like that e.l.f concealer palette a lot and at this point in time I've used it pretty well almost every single day and I would buy it again I really like it a lot I would buy it again I also have the essence and I've shown them a number of times in the tube the essence the essence color corrector that's in the tube sort of like looks like a lip gloss I really like that a lot and I what I like about that is I could just buy the one I want which is usually the pink 
and the green. Those are the two that I really would use. So I like those. I will continue to use them. They come on a lot lighter. They're not as thick as this. They're not as heavy duty as this, but I like them a lot. And for me, you can't beat the price. You just cannot beat the price. The other thing that a number of you have asked me about is I ended up buying the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I don't know if you can tell, but I've actually got quite a little dent going on in here. So since I bought this, I've been using it, I think, I think probably every day with the exception of two or three days when I tried the, um, the Kick-Ass primer um, and I'll talk about that after I use it a little bit longer but I really like this this comes on really smooth on my skin almost silicone -y. it kind of fills in my pores it, it does definitely fill them in and it's really kind of a smooth finish now I don't know that it has any kind of a super gripping power I don't even know if that's the right way to say it you know because like if I'm putting on my color corrector, I'm putting on a concealer, say from my nose veins, they still will pop through after a while. So, but you know, I haven't found anything that will keep them contained all day long without having to touch up, to, to be honest with you. So I don't know whether it, you know, I can't blame the primer. Other than the fact that I'm still touching up on my veins a little bit during the day, I like this primer a lot, and at this point in time, I would definitely repurchase it, unless I found something I like better by the time this was empty. I've got plenty in here. I like the fact that I don't have to squeeze it out. I like the fact that I can dip my finger in, and that I can apply and dip my finger in and just take as much product. Sometimes when you have, at least me, when you have something you have to squeeze, more stuff comes out than you than you really want. So those, those are really, are really awesome. The other thing that I purchased, and I know I said I wasn't going to repurchase the Matrixel, or I didn't think I would at one point in one of my videos, but when Timeless had their 50% off sale, I went ahead and I bought the, the Timeless Vitamin C, which I was planning on buying because I love, love, love this. And I did go ahead and reorder the Matrixel 3000. I like this serum. So, you know, these two serums, um, at 50% off, you just couldn't go wrong. So they should be in sometime this week, which is really good because I'm getting quite low in these. And 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 I love the, I love both of them. And I, for me, out of all the vitamin C's, and I have used a number of vitamin C's. I have high end, mad hippie. I've tried a few. I've tried pixie. I've tried a number of different vitamin C serums. This is so far for me the only one that works for me really well. I like how it makes my skin look and I like the fact that I can apply it in the morning and then I can put my foundation on and I don't have any of that piling or pilling or whatever you want to call it that a vitamin C like when I last I tried my Mad Hippie and that was I bought my Mad Hippie and that was expensive and um, but when I tried that vitamin C it was a huge fail for me a huge fail so I like it, I know many people like it, but it did not work out on the days that I had to put foundation on. If I was just gonna beat around at home, I would put that on because I wanna finish the bottle I have open. I actually have two bottles of it. One is unopened, which I think is gonna go into my giveaway. The other thing I wanted to mention, <laughs> oh boy. This is the Trophy Skin. Now I've watched a couple of reviews on this but this is the Trophy Skin, and this is the Rejuvalite MD. This is a beauty tool, and this was, now you guys know I like Trophy Skin, you know, because I've talked about my Trophy Skin products that I use. I use the Microderm Abrasion. I bought that, the Microderm MD Abrasion. I bought that, I don't know, maybe about a year or so ago. I use that. I love that. I really, really love that. That is a awesome at-home beauty tool that makes my skin feel fantastic. I also use the Trophy Skin spatula, the LaBelle spatula. 
I use that on a regular basis, probably maybe three to four times a week. And to me, it's like an at-home spa treatment. It cleans out my pores. It's very, very gentle. It isn't anything that is like an abrasion or anything. It just cleans the pores out super, super nice. So when Trophy Skin, out of the blue, mind you, reached out to me, they sent me an email and they had said, uh, would I be interested in perhaps partnering with them to try one of their products? So when they say when they said partnering, it's not it's not a sponsored video. They're not paying me to do this, but they have sent me this product complimentary. So they told me I could go check any product um, on their website, and of course, since I have the other two, this is the one. This is the one I have been ooh, so curious about. So this. The treatment is like five minutes. You can sit there, you can have it on your face, you can close your eyes, you can relax. But I'm like so super excited about this because I've heard so many good things about this. So many good things. So this is the Rejuvelite MD. This is red light therapy. Five minutes a day. You put this on, you sit and you relax. You know, you're just going to relax and veg out. Maybe I'll be listening to an audio book and I'll be giving myself this, in my opinion, at home spa like treatment. I'm super excited to give it a try. I just got it. I'm super excited to give it a try. They've also given me a coupon code that I can share with anyone who might be interested in any Trophy Skin products. I'll put that coupon code below. But I was absolutely thrilled when they, when they reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in, and it's like, to me it was sort of a really a super no-brainer because I've spent a lot of money on my Trophy Skin products and I highly re recommend the Trophy Skin products that I have bought because I use them, I like them, I continue to use them on a regular basis and I think they've made a big difference on my skin. So thank you so much Trophy Skin for reaching out to me and sending me this and guys, I will let you know how I like it. The other thing that was sent to me was, and this was from a company called ASMRTISTRY. I'm hoping you can see it. Anyways, they sent me in this box with some candy. <laughs> um, they sent me an email and they said, would I like to give a try on their, their lipstick, on their product? And I went and I looked at it and it's very much into armistry, I think it's called. It is very much into sort of like, you know, being in your in your zen in a way, you know, like crystal and silver and, you know, stuff like that, that is supposed to give you this wonderful experience. So fresh and tingly, it's made with 80% recyclable products. Um, this is really nice. I mean, when I opened it up, I, there's a necklace here. I have not undone this yet, so there is a necklace here. I don't know if it's going to be long enough because I do like longer necklaces. But when I opened it up, and of course the first thing I saw was the little butterfly um, clip here, which I thought was kind of cute. And then the two pop candies, and I said, okay. Um, but then I had really wanted to have the nude lipstick, so I don't know whether or not my order got kind of messed up, but they didn't send the nude lipstick. So I got this red. And I will tell you the staying power of this is amazing. But it is, for me, way too dark. I don't know if you guys can see that. So this is, it's just, it's just way too dark for me. It isn't going to be anything that I am going to wear. I'm going to see if my mother will take this color because I think it would look really good on her skin. She's got darker hair than me and she might really like this. So this was sent to me complimentary from the company. I'm going to link all the information below. I don't know the price point. I do know that they had a nude and the nude lipstick is what I wanted. The nude looked wonderful, but I got the red and it isn't, I don't even think they call it red. Oh, it's rouge. I like the concept. I like everything they're talking about the product, but the color is not, not my cup of tea. So what is my cup of tea? And I just wanted to show you this because 
many of you have asked me about my lip colors and I've been I've been into pinks for a while right now and but this is the one I have on today you can see it's almost done but this is the one that I wear an awful lot it is Maybelline 450 this is Romantic Rose and the other one and I don't have it in here the other one that I wear a lot and you guys asked me about the colors is the blushing pout Maybelline blushing pout both of those colors are really 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 awesome colors so I really like them on my and you can see because I had tried the darker lipstick on and then I tried to wipe it off and I had a hard time getting it off it it when you say it has staying power it really does it has it has some really good staying power once it dries on your lips so i would imagine if you love you know wearing long-term lipstick that stays on you know i would imagine this would work out really good this this darker color for someone because the blend is super super nice as far as staying on and lasting just too dark for monica but on my head today because i know people always ask that um, this is the topper that was sent to me by uni wigs so sent to me complimentary this is the amber topper i will leave the information below i've already done a review on this but every time i wear a wig or a hair piece or anything of that nature many of you say what do you have on your head so i'm going to try to keep remembering to go on my head today so on my head today is this is the amber human hair topper that i got complimentary from uni wigs i did have to cut it and I can curl it and right now I'm just wearing it very very plain on my head I really like this I think it looks extremely realistic most people can't tell that I have it on other than the fact that my hair looks super thick I I think that it's not something that most people are gonna go oh she's wearing a chopper you know or whatever a lot of my own natural hair is hanging out and um, the topper is straight. My natural hair is a little bit longer. And a couple of times I've kind of curled it under, but I wanted the topper to be cut shorter because I wanted it to have more of a layered look, especially when I curl it, so that I could I could wear it that way. But this is a real this is a really nice topper. I really like it. I'll link all the information. And the color is almond frost. You can see it tells slight little rooted look. And um, yeah, I really like it. So I think other than that, guys, I think that's really all I wanted to um, to mention today because I'm still waiting for some of the things to arrive for my 10K giveaway. My gosh, by the time I get that video up, gosh, only knows, but I'm still waiting for some products to arrive in the mail and I really don't want to mention the products until I have like I don't want to pre-film because I want to wait till I have them in hand in case something happens they don't materialize or whatever but I am going to be filming that 10k giveaway video and um, I'm so super excited I'm so super excited to have hit 10 10 10 gray 10 thousand subscribers who would have thunk it you know I started my channel in 2009 and I know many of you know this, but for many, many years, I just talked real estate on my channel. I just shared localism type videos. I did some RVing. I did little tiny video clips. I didn't really have a, a focus. And then I, I fell into, because I was searching anti-aging, I'm 65 years old. So I was searching anti-aging tricks and I fell into the mature community. I made connections and I would say that it's been about two years, almost three years. Well, it's been three years since I started Retin-A in 2016. Um, but it was a little bit after that that I really started to focus in on doing anti-aging type videos or skincare type videos. I never felt that I was qualified to do those types of videos because it was so late to the game. And then it dawned on me, you know, I may not be perfect, but I do, I do bring, I think, a little bit more of like, I'm a real person and you can, even if you start late, you can learn and you can learn to apply makeup better and you can learn to do skincare better and, and yeah, and so I, then I started to think, well, you know what, there's going to be other people that might be interested in watching my journey because I have started late and there's going to be other people that might be thinking the same thing. Oh, it's too late, too late, because that's what I thought. And that inspired me to continue on. 
Am I perfect with application on makeup? No, no, no. I can think of many, many other mature, beautiful women on YouTube who do a fabulous, fabulous job doing makeup tutorials, eye looks, and all that stuff, and they're, they're, they're beautiful. But I'm like sort of like this fumbling thing in a china closet. I'm trying to learn how to do it, but I'm not there yet. I'm getting there, though. And then same thing with the skincare. I've learned from so many other women on YouTube on about skincare. And to me, that that really was what it was all about because I was searching for, I didn't want to see a supermodel. I didn't want to see a commercial. I didn't want to see this perfect, perfect person who, you know, has perfect skin. And I also, at that point in time, wasn't interested in listening to skincare from someone who's had a facelift or had, had treatments done because I wanted to learn skincare with someone that that hadn't had that done so that I could it would resonate with me more nothing against that and I may someday have that done but I really wanted to learn from someone who basically had a raw canvas and they were just trying to make that canvas better with color with skincare with whatever um, but not artificially if, if that makes sense so I really learned so much from so many of the beautiful women on YouTube and it has become a a wonderful community and I have a small circle of super close friends that I can truly call my friends on YouTube and I never realized that that would ever happen I never even imagined it and then the, the added benefit is that I have had so many subscribers that I recognize that comment that support the channel and I'm so blessed to have them all. I'm so blessed. So I can't wait to do my 10,000 giveaway video because I am so thankful. I'm super thankful for every single one of you. Super thankful. And it's because of you and you and you watching my videos and you encouraging my videos that I get noticed by some brands. Although, you know, not that many, but I am starting to get noticed by some brands. Trophy Skin, for example, you know, reaching out to me. It was like, oh my gosh, it's like awesome. <laughs> so I owe it all to you guys. Thank you all so much. Love to you all. Bye-bye.